is Ableton Certified Dubspot Instructor Thavius Beck with another edition of Did You Know? This week's edition of Did You Know will be pretty short and sweet and is something that I bet a lot of you know already, but for those of you who don't, did you know that these three folders on the left side of Live's interface can be used as shortcuts to different locations on your hard drive? This is especially helpful just to keep your workflow and your focus directly on Live's interface. That way, you can locate certain sounds, samples, MP3s, etc. without ever leaving the screen. How you do this is very simple. What I'm going to do is go to my first folder here. Right now, this is set to Live's library, which is the default location uh, that the majority of you are going to have for this folder. So I can see right here, library, that's where this is pointed at. And I can see the contents of that folder right here. Well, maybe I want this to have a default location to some other folder. What I can do is I can just click on the title bar. And when I do that, this is showing me different places that I can go to. If I choose all volumes, this is going to show me all of my hard disks. Macintosh HD, that's my laptop's hard drive. Now, if I double click this folder, that means that every time I go to that shortcut, this folder, it's always going to take me to that location. All right, so right now, I've set this first folder to always bring me to my hard drive. All right, so if I go back to my library, all right, this first folder set for the library, I'm going to select all volumes, Macintosh HD, double click that. All right, so now that's the default location. Now, I don't want that to be the default location here. I'm just kind of showing you that. I think what makes more sense is for me to go to a folder that has... Um, a bunch of samples or maybe a bunch of stems from a different program. So let me go to my users folder, open this up. All right, so Astro Pirate, that's my little username. My music folder is here, expand that. And then in here, I can see Reason Stems. Okay, these are stems from Reason when I used to use that exclusively for beats. So I'm just going to double click on this folder. And now at the top, I can see this is showing me the location of the folder. And then these are the contents of that folder here. So now anytime I start up live, if I go to this first folder, it's always going to bring me to Reason Stems. So I have mine set up, so I have my first folder for that, second folder for uh, things that I've sampled from a program called uh, Hijack, uh, Audio Hijack is what it's called. The folder is called Hijacked Audio. I got confused. And the third one is for all of my drum sounds, kits, uh, etc. So this way, I can grab all of my user-created content going straight to these three folders, which are nicely organized, and I never have to leave Live's interface. Great way to keep your workflow and your focus directly on the software and the task at hand. Again, this is Ableton Certified Trainer and Dubspot Instructor, Thavius Beck, signing off, and now, you know. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.